Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about three confusing terms in biology that is bisexual, monoecious, and dioecious within two minutes. First of all, starting with bisexual flowers. Nearly 90% of plant species are bisexual. Let's take an example. So this is the hibiscus flower. In a bisexual flower, the male and the female reproductive structures can be seen in the same flower. That is why it is called as bi or two sexual having two sex in the same flower. So this is a male part that is comprising of anther, a filament that is called a stamen, and this is a female part that consists of stigma, style and ovary which is called as carpel. So a flower with all the words sepal, petal, antrisium and kinesium or stamen and carpel are called as perfect flowers. 90% of plant species are having perfect flowers or bisexual flowers. In the case of animals, hermaphrodites are seen in the case of earthworms where both sexes are present on the same organism. Now the second term, monaceous, often refers to monaceous plant where both male and female flowers are present on the same plant but not on the same flower. The flowers are imperfect. Take the case of corn. It is a monaceous plant where you can see this is a female flower we call it as silks whereas this is a male flower which is called as tassel. So in the case of monaceous, there are both male flowers and female flowers. The flowers are imperfect as all worlds are not present. Now the next case is dioecious. Male and female flowers are on different plant. That means there is a male plant with male flower and a female plant with a female flower. Let's take an example that is a date palm. So this is a male spathe or male flower that is in the male plant and this is a female flowers that is in the female plant. So this is called as dioecious. Male and female reproductive structures are formed on separate plant. Now let's look into other differences between monoecious and dioecious plants. In the case of monoecious plants, the rule is self-pollination. It's capable of both self-pollination and cross-pollination. So this is cuckoo pits. This is a male flower and this is female flower that is seen on the same plant. So all plants are capable of seed production. As there is self-pollination, genetic variation is very low and there is increased homozygosity. But reproductive isolation has no effect as self-pollination is very common. Examples include corn, cuckoo pits, etc. The second case is a dioecious plant. In the case of dioecious plant, we have taken the example of date palm. There is a male plant, there is a female plant with female flowers. In the case of dioecious plants, the rule is cross-pollination. Cross-pollination is the only possibility. Therefore, seeds are produced only on the female plant. There is high genetic variation as there is cross-pollination, as there is less homozygosity, and reproductive isolation can prevent pollination. Therefore, these plants are adapted with efficient pollination mechanism and also having large fleshy fruits that will attract efficient pollinators. Examples include date palm, papaya, etc. And that's it. You are with biologyexamsforay.com. Thank you so much for your support.